Let's convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers. So we have 7 fourths. The way to do this is to divide 7 by 4. Goes in once. We have a remainder of 3. 4 doesn't go into 3. And so the way we write that is we have one whole and then three left out of four. So one and three fourths. And the picture for that is if four fourths make a whole, then seven fourths, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is one whole and three fourths. So one and three fourths, one space, three over four. Okay, let's do the same process for five divided by four. So we have five divided by four, and we'll end up with, it goes in one time. We'll have a one remainder. And so there'll be one and one fourth. It's just one, four fourths would be one, right? So five fourths is just one extra fourth. One and one forward slash four. That's how you put it into math games. Okay, how about six fourths as a mixed number in simplest form? So we can, we can start off and simplify that down to three over two right away dividing the top and the bottom by two. So we might as well do that and then do three divided by two. Three, two goes into three once. Get one left over, two doesn't go into one, so we have a remainder of one. And so we say one and one half. One half. So one space, one forward slash two. Okay, how about this? So I think we did this one, but it's okay. We'll do it again. 7 divided by 2. There's 3. 3 times 2 is 6. We'll get 1. So we have 3 remainder 1, or 3 and 1 half. Okay, now let's write this as an improper fraction. So let's go back to our picture. Two, so that's one, that's two, and let's make there be an extra half. So two and a half. How many halves are there? One, two, three, four, five halves. So how can we come up with a formula for that? Well, we take our two, we multiply by the number of pieces in each, right? So we do two times two plus this one all over two. So that's four plus one all over two or five halves. Okay, how about this? So now we'll do three times three plus one all over three. So that will be nine plus one all over three or 10 over three. And we always have to check, can we simplify that at all? No, we can't simplify that. So we get 10 forward slash three. Okay, well how about this, seven fourths? Seven divided by four, one. There's a remainder of three. So it should be one and three divided by four. Oh, well, this is the same one, right? So seven divided by four gives us one. 
remainder 3. Oh, it's even the same position, right? So 1 and 3 over 4. So 1 and 3 fourths. Okay, how about 3 and a half as an improper fraction? So we do 3 times 2 plus 1 all over 2. So that's 6 plus 1 over 2, or 7 halves, which is this one. Oh, here's a fun one, 2 and a half. All right, so 2 times 2. plus 1, all over 2, gives us 4 plus 1 over 2, or 5 halves. Okay, let's check out a level 2 problem, see how it looks. Okay, so 8 thirds would be 8 divided by 3. We'll go in twice. There'll be a remainder of 2. So we'll have 2, which is this thing, and 2 thirds. I hope you had some fun with that. Um, yeah, just keep practicing these and see if you can think about where this shows up in real life. So, for instance, if you're paying $2.25, you could think of that as $2.25 over 100. Or you could think of it as, say, 2 and a fourth in simplest form. Or you could think about it as 8 plus 1 over 4 or 9 fourths, which just says that you have 9 quarters, right? So if you're paying with quarters and you want to pay $2 and a quarter, then that's like paying 9 quarters. So that's really the idea of converting between improper fractions and mixed numbers. All right, have fun. I'll see you next time.